On question seven, it's not really a geometric sequence that we're so concerned with in this question. The one thing to notice is bacteria is per minute and bacteria B is per second. We can't compare them unless they have the same thing. I always think it's easier to change the smaller one to the bigger one. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say, I'm going to do 0.2% per second. I'm going to change that to the percent per minute. Well, I want the minutes in the denominator. And I know there are 60 seconds in one minute. That's stuff we did before. So I'm going to take 0.2 times 60. Let's use, whoops. Let's use our calculator and we'll take 0.2 times 60. And no, that's, that's growing at a rate of 12% per minute. So bacteria B is growing faster. How much faster? Well, we're going to take 12 minus 10.24. Four. Can't write. Okay, well then if I subtract those, I will get what? 0 0.66. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 2 is 7, so it was wrong there. It's 7, 6. And 11 minus 10 is 1. So I'll get 1.76% per minute is how much faster it's growing. Now when you're solving exponential equations, remember we need to have the same base. I always take the bigger one and I write it in terms of the smaller one. So can I write 256 as a power of four? Well, <clears throat> let's do some guessing and checking here. So if I take 4 to the 4th power. I know 4 to the 3rd is 64. Oh, notice I get 256. So then I'm going to get 4 to the 4th power equals 4 to the 3x minus 2. Since I have the same base, that means my exponents are going to be the same. So in other words, 3x minus 2 equals 4. I'll solve that problem like I normally do. I'll add 2 to both sides. 3x equals 6. I'll divide by 3. And x equals 2. And there is my solution. Let's take a look at number 9. I want to write 625 as a power of 5. <clears throat> So 5 to the 3rd is 125. So 5 to the 4th is 625. You can verify that with your calculator if you want. So we take 5, if we take five to the 4th power, it's 625. So I'm going to take 5 to the 4th power to the x minus 1 equals 5. I'll put that 1 in here just to verify it. And then to get... A power to a power, I multiply the exponents, so I get 5 to the 4x minus 4 equals 5 to the first. My bases are the same, so you go 4x minus 4 equals 1. We'll add 4 to both sides. <clears throat> we get 4x equals 5. I'll divide by 4. So x is 5 over 4. Write your answer as a fraction. I don't want 1.25. <clears throat> Let's take a look at number 10. Can I write 3 as a power of 729? I'm going to have to do a few guesses and check-ins here. Okay, so if I go 3 to the 5th power... 
that's 243. How about 3 to the 6 power? There we go. It's 3 to the 6. So this is 3 to the 6 equals 3 to the 3x plus 2. My 3s are the same, so I say 3x plus 2 equals 6. Let's minus 2 from both sides. 3x equals 4. I'll divide both sides by 3. x equals 4 over 3. And there's my answer to number 10. And let's take a look at number 11. Now we'll write 256 as a power of 2. Whoa, get back here. So I'll use my calculator and I will guess power of 2. So if I go 2 to the 7th, that's 128. So I'm guessing it's 2 to the 8th. Yeah, <clears throat> 2 to the 8th is 256. So I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the 8th raised to the 4x minus 5 power equals 2 to the 1st. Power of a power we multiply, so let's multiply our exponents. So 8 times 4 is 32x, 8 times 5 is 40. Now I'll set it, my bases are the same now, so I'll say 32x minus 40 equals 1. We'll add 40 to both sides, and we'll get 32x equals 41. We'll divide by 32, and x equals 41 over 32. And there's your answer. You're done. And number 11. Okay. Number 12. We want to simplify 1296 to the 3 fourths power. So that means, remember, my radical is my base, is my index. And then I take 1296. And I'll raise that to the third power. So in other words, I want to find a number that when I take it to the fourth power, gives me 1296. Well, I know it's going to be not 1 or 2. I notice it ends in 6. Let's try 6 to the fourth power. So if I take 6 to the fourth power... Oh, I get 1296. So in other words, the fourth root of 1296 is 6. If I raise that to the third power, I get 216. And there's your answer. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. Let's do the same thing on number 14. Notice my index is 3, so I'm going to take the cube root of 8, and I'll raise that to the 7th power. Well, the cube root of 8 is 2. I think we just did 2 to the 7th. I think that was 256, but I have a short memory. Oh, there it is. 2 to the 7th is 128. And there's our answer for that one.